Hello, welcome to today's Cypress automation testing. So today we'll be diving straight to form automation. We're going to be looking at how to actually automate your form with Cypress. So let's go straight to our work environment and just open your open your folder with VS Code. I've already opened mine. So in our last class, we actually carried out this automation. So today now we'll be looking at form automation with cypress now what we're going to do last class i told i taught you how to use your shift alternate key down to actually duplicate your work so we're going to duplicate the shift alternate then you arrow down button you know you just press your arrow down button comes out so we're going to remove this all of this we're deleting all of this and we we'll change this now to Form automation with Cypress. So this actually is what we'll be looking at today. Now, but before we move on, let me save. Now, before we move on, I would like to talk about comment in JavaScript. So if I ask, what is comment in programming? Comment is an explanation of what your code is all about in your source code nothing more to that so if you are writing codes and you just want to kind of give an explanation of what your code is all about inside your source code you have to put that in comment so that computer will understand that hey i am not this is not part of my code i'm not going to run all of this if you look at this now this is an example of comment and in in javascript you use your comment by double slash once you put double slash everything I type in here, you can see that it's not actually showing, you know, this color here, showing that it is not life. The code is not recognizing it as something that is going to run. Yes, it's embedded inside the source code, but it will not be wrong. Now, let me just remove this. Let me remove this Cypress code, for instance. Let me remove the comment. You can see that it has changed color. Now, it is now showing me, JavaScript is telling me, hey, this is an error. I don't understand what you're trying to say. What do you want to say here? You can see it. But because it's comment, once it's put it, the error goes off. So once I'm running this code now, this code will not be run. It's not going to be run because it is comment. So that's just comment. You use comment to actually explain something while you are coding, you know? So that's just it. So I'm going to remove this because it is not actually necessary here. Okay, then we are going to look at something again. You know, here, when you are writing codes, one of the things you learn in programming is to avoid repetitions. If you look at here now, you see that I have just repeated this URL. I said site.visit here, and I'm repeating site.visit here. Yes, for now, we are going to do it. But as we move on along, as we move on in this course, we're going to look at, you know, some hooks that will help us to actually refactor this code and we will not be reusing this URL. We're just going to use it once in, on this page, and that will be all. Every other area will just be moving from, from that. But for now, we haven't gotten to that stage. So for now, we'll just be repeating it, you know, at the moment. So having gotten that, let's move on to our form automation. Okay, we'll still be working with this Adobe QA, you know, for now. Let's hope that the server will not be giving us issues. So look at the form we'll be working on this test box. Now look at, let's just actually look at it first you know and then go and automate it they say full name john doe email address john doe at gmail.com and uh, current address let's say number 12 number 12 john doe street lagos and permanent address let's repeat this good now look at what happens when you submit and when you submit you see all the information that you have just entered here we're going to see it it shows that you've gotten a successful submission so this is exactly what we're going to you know replicate now so all of this information we're going to replicate them via automation so let's go and do that let me refresh this so the first thing we'll be doing here now is i have to go back the first thing we'll be doing here now is we'll have to start from this page, but this is the page that 
this is our landing page so we have to start from this page and we've already automated this before so we just have to look at that so the first thing here is to say we need to get these elements and how do we get the elements we need to get this element here we need to click here and how do we do that we say sci dot content we already have it so no, no need of repeating here. i can just copy it here we already have it to drop it here already did it so if you haven't actually watched this course i will enjoy you to go back and just rewatch this this course so that you can follow suit you know so this will actually be able to bring us to this place and click on this element now once we get here we need to click on the test box and i think we've also done that you can see side side of content test box click good so we'll also bring it down and this will actually be able to come here and click on this now we've got into this stage what we now need to do is to come here okay and get our username now how do we get our username you can see that we need to fill this form here so look at the 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 form field the first is form field and the second is email the next is current address permanent address and then you submit but before we move on in our last class actually we talked about this uh, one of our last classes okay we talked about locators let me bring it up different ways to get locators we talked about that uh, you can get your locators through id through class name through tag names and all that so i would like us to just use some of all these processes in getting our locators so here all we need to do you right click of course inspect you already know this we've done this before you come to your pick tools and pick this this is what we will want to actually carry out and you see we have the id here id is username so we're going to use this username if you look at this now you see that this one is not unique how do i know because we've done that before we've done that before and we we tried using crow path to see if it's unique which is our class and we find that it's not unique because it's not single let's look at it chrome path dot being class use dot then we put it you see we have four elements look at it's highlighting four of the elements so this is not unique so we're going to look at username so we'll come here and say hashtag for id you use hashtag why for class we use dot hashtag and username fine it's taking just one element so it's unique so we're using the 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 id and I, I think we've already done that in our first class in this class here so we'll just copy it and paste i'm just repeating it you know good that has been done now the next we'll pick the next and what do we use here the, the class can still not be used here because the class is not unique it's, it's sharing the same class with that of the full name so but if you look at the, the id you see that id is unique id is user email so we're going to do that confirm that here you see it's highlighted one element matching so we're going to use user email now all i just need to do here is to duplicate that's all and i, I change this now to user email and then come here i want to type the email and our email is john do at gmail.com that's the email i save now the next is current address so i'll come here and pick now when you look at this you see that we also have an id here so i'm going to pick the id and confirm if it's unique good one element matching you can see it has highlighted it so that is what we're going to use here so i duplicate and bring remove this and then we'll be using the address we'll say number 12 sorry john doe street lagos now save so that has been taken care of now the, the next one is we'll also pick here here it said permanent address that is the it permanent address so we'll, we'll pick that and let's confirm here you can see that one element matching and permanent address has been highlighted so we're going to use that 
here now we'll duplicate shift control key down arrow key down and in this place we'll change it to permanent address this is going to remain as it is because we just want to repeat the same address to save now the last is going to be click now having entered all the information you now can come here to to submit and let's pick on submit button and when you look at this you see that you can see that we have an id submit yes then we have a class btn primary let's see if this class of btn primary is actually unique i think it should be because that's the only button on this page there's not that button on this page so let's look at it dot btn primary good one element match you can see that it has highlighted it so this is how you use your class all this i will be using ids because you know id is what is available for us to use so but on this one now we're going to use class so we'll just come here and say sci dot get then we'll put it this is what we want and then what do we want us what do we want cypress to do click this time around we are not typing so click so having done that we'll just save and now we can run our cypress to see what it will give us new terminal npm run test okay so this is actually our test actually this this example i feel it is of no use so let's just remove it let's remove it in our first class we this example came with cypress so we just felt let's leave it but it's actually kind of disturbing so let's remove it we don't even need it for anything let's remove it good so you can see that it has just taken effect immediately here so let's run our test by just clicking this good now this post by the way i if you were with me on our last class i talked about the server this website the server actually giving issue because this is free and a lot of persons are using this this um, website now if you look at it here it's saying look at the error type error setup is not exemption you know and here it said the following error originated from your application code not from cypress once you have this issue as you are running your test you know um, on your own local machine just know that you're having server error so what we're going to do is that we're going to come here and but if you look at this one you see that it has actually it ran this one successfully you know so it was now running the second one when the server you know had issues and crashed so we're going to stop it so what you just do if you are doing if you're having this issue on your local machine you know just kind of pause for like 30 seconds a, a minute and we run it again invariably it's going to um, pass why that is going on why we are waiting i've already stopped it so while we are waiting there's something i would like us to um look into again you know when i started this we looked about comments in programming now in cypress if you look at this now in our first class we talked about this it yes i said that inside your describe you can have multiple it on it and that's exactly what you see here you see that we now have two it now when you saw as it was running you saw that it first of all ran this one after running this this one passed you, see, you saw it marked marked good and green actually it was from here that server, server crashed so if i am working on this particular now i am working on this particular section we've gone through this and this passed and being that i'm working here i don't want the cypress to run this test i don't want cypress to run this test for me because that was exactly what happened it has to run all the tests all the eats inside the described you know so it's going to run this one first after that sequentially it will run to the next next it after running the next it it will run to the next it you know and until there's no that it again so but if i want just only the one that i am working on i want cypress to work run only the one i am run all you just need to do is to come to the it and press and, and 
enter dot only and save so this dot only is mocha centers in our first class i think we talked about mocha centers so this dot only uh, which is being used by Cy cypress this dot only we now automatically tell cypress hey i don't want to run every any other test i just want to run only this particular it so cypress is just going to run only this one for us so let's do that do that again now and see what happens we can just come here and click so you can now see that that first one didn't run it's just straight now running on the phone i still having server issue i still having server issue so i'm still going to pause you know a bit let me just pause this video so what i'm going to do now is to close this stop this from running and then close this and how do you close it you just control c it has closed so i haven't closed that uh we we'll just uh, have to rerun it all over again so i'll say npm run test click good now it has actually passed but you can see the server is still having issues but this time around it was able to pass through to go through so before we weren't able to go through now you just have to forgive me i'm using a um, free website of course this is not a paid course it's a free course on um on youtube and i just felt well we can use um a free testing website you know if that this course is paid i'll have to spend money to launch um, a website that we'll be using for testing so this website is used by a lot of persons and actually that is crashing the server so while you are carrying on your own test you might see, still be having these little issues but that shouldn't stop you from learning what you have to learn that is just it so this is it you know you've done this and you can now see that as we did on our first when we are, when we actually started it you saw all the form that we entered the the field as we enter them everything on clicking submit everything showed here you know here full name we have john doe email john doe at gmail.com and all that so if you've done this and you've gotten this to this level bravo you've actually been able to automate form in cypress thank you and happy testing see you in our next class and i will i will appeal with you if you have still having joined um, um, um subscribe to this channel please what are you waiting for subscribe and hit the like button thank you and happy testing